Antonio, I'm 21, and I live in Oceanside, California. I am currently enrolled in Columbia College Hollywood, where I'm majoring in uh, editing. My goal is to become a successful film editor. Believe it or not, I have never really been on a date before. The only thing I'm missing in my life, I think, is a companion. The ideal woman for me is someone who thinks of other people besides herself, who's not really all into her looks, or who's all into themselves. The one thing I like to improve about my uh, life is just basically to lose weight and to be um, worry-free. Antonio? Hey. Hi, my name is Steve. Well, my goal is to make Antonio feel relaxed, have some fun, to realize this can be part of a lifestyle and a positive change in his life. Why don't we get started? I'm not really strong with uh, any type of workout, with running or push-ups or anything. What we have here is a bench press. This is gonna work our pectorals and chest. What we're gonna do is do some compound lifts. Let's go two more. Two more? Yeah. It's been going good. We've been uh, doing Perfect. some uh, lifts nice and uh, you know, and lifting down. weights. I definitely feel accomplished. I feel I could do a lot more than I thought I originally could. Antonio's got a sharp mind, so, you know, and an able body. Uh, but so much is, is putting into effect what you, you learn, and he's already doing that. I'm very impressed. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you coming out here thank and you so much for showing me some things. Time. Today, someone is coming over to teach me how to fix spaghetti. Antonio? Hello. How's it going, man? My name's Corey Peterman, and I'm here to teach Antonio how to cook. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to get the sausage going for the, uh, the spaghetti sauce. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the sausage, okay. like so, and you just slowly rip it apart and toss it in. I think my spaghetti is pretty special because it's, it's kind of a little family recipe that we've been passing down for quite a while. I like it because most people don't make their own spaghetti sauce anymore and, and that's one thing that makes it pretty special. What I have that I always use is I always have Italian herb seasoning grinder. The grinders, I'm serious, they're always the best. I don't think I've ever cooked a home cooked meal. At home I usually uh, use my grill and cook uh, hamburgers, hot dogs. Sometimes I make a box of spaghetti. I'm hoping that the uh, spaghetti I cook today would definitely taste a lot better than the box spaghetti I usually cook at home. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take it right over here. Okay. And you're going to pour it in. Look at all that steam. Ooh. Nice and hot. You have your pasta ready to go, your sauce is ready to go. Now all you need are your people to eat. So yeah. let's get plates and let's taste it, man. Antonio, what do you think? It's really good. I think it went really well. Um, he was paying attention, he was listening, he, he seemed to be uh, picking up everything that I was saying, so I think it went very well. I'm pretty comfortable with cooking this. I feel uh, that I've understood and uh, learned everything that, uh, that he taught me, and I'm pretty comfortable that I can do it on my own. Today, a dating coach is coming over to uh, give me tips on what to do on a date. I've never met the dating coach. I hope he uh, is a suave, comedic guy who knows what he's doing. I'm going to teach Antonio how to speak to women and come off very confident. Hi, Antonio. Hey, how are you doing? Good, good. I'm Jared. Hi, nice to meet you. So let's talk about your dating history. Really nothing. That's not true. There has to be something. Did you ever, like, flirt with a girl? Yes, you have. Yeah. Okay, that's something. I think it's important that in, in dating or relationships or anything like that, you're only responsible for your half. Right. So you be the best person you can be, and you just hope that they'll do the same. So let's see what you plan on wearing for this date. For me, I'm not really into fashion. 
when I decide what to wear, I look for what's clean and what looks good. What you want to do is you want to look like you took time to look nice, but um, but you're not like going to the to a funeral. <laughs> I actually have a date lined up for you. Are you surprised? Are you happy about this? I'm very happy about it. Good, good. Don't f it up. <laughs> um, so so if I'm the date and I come in and I say hi, you know. Put your, put your arms open first, be co the confident person, take her in, make her feel comfortable around you, and just, you know, no pressure, you're just talking, you're just having, fr you know, just being friends. Uh, you're figuring out if you guys are even compatible or not. Do you feel like you, you're ready to take on this first date? Oh yes, definitely. Be confident, yes, yes. look nice, ask her about herself, you know, the, you know, put a lot of energy into her, take charge, remember, no pressure, it's just a lot of fun. Today, I'm supposed to have a blind date with a random chick. I'm really excited. I'm a little nervous at the same time because I have no idea what she's going to be like or what she's going to look like or anything. Today, I cooked pasta and I basically remembered everything. I hope she likes it. Hopefully, it turns out good. I'm 24 years old and I'm originally from Austin, Texas and um, just like to meet new people, have fun and um, just a big personality. Alright, so uh, I set up some food over there at the uh, picnic table so we can uh, have something to eat right now if you like. That sounds great. Cool, let's go. I'll follow you. Alright. It looks so good. Is this for me? Oh yeah, that's for you. Thank you, it's beautiful. I like it. Thank you. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. You learned to cook, you know how to cook? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And I'm gonna to try to avoid acting like a fool and uh, you know, try to be myself but maybe not too much as myself. First I wanna see what you know she wants to talk about, maybe find out uh, what, she, what her interests are and then go based on that. So uh, I heard something about you in TV. Mm hmm I am a game show, like, fanatic. Um, I like to watch them, but more importantly, I like to be on them. Yeah. And so um, a couple years ago, um, I took my mom to Price is Right, mm -hmm. just me and her, and, uh, and I ended up winning a car on the show. Really? Yeah, That's and nice. I won um, some scuba diving equipment as well, which is oh. so random. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. Yeah. I've so, only been on like TV one time. The oh yeah, for what? I've been on TV was on Community. You know that show? Uh, With, uh, I've heard Chase of it. And all that okay. Other stuff. What I were just, you doing? I was on an it? extra. Oh, okay. In a pilot episode. Yeah. That's funny. The only extra thing I actually did. Did you like being an extra? Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. A lot of downtime. Yeah. I liked everything about her, and going on TV shows, and she likes to go on game shows and stuff, which is really interesting. Just everything about her. I got some bread over here, and I was thinking that uh, we can go and feed some ducks if you like. That sounds really fun. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Yeah. He did good. I mean, he definitely seems, you know, a more on the shy side, and um, I think, you know, as he goes on more dates, we'll get more experience opening up and carrying on conversations and stuff, though. But for somebody for that's never been on a date before, I mean, he did really well. So sometimes it's nice to get what you didn't expect. Well, thank you again. It was nice to meet you. Get some nice of the bread off. Yeah. We'll give hugs. I'm a uh, hugger. Yeah. I learned uh, not to be so nervous when it comes to dating. To let everything go and be as natural and confident as you can be. And when it, when you get an opportunity like this to go on a random date, just do it. Because you never know what comes from it. <laughs>